Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. You back here with me to relax shock this woman with an epic surprise. Over the years, Omi has grown to become one of the most loved celebrities, being able to carve a niche for herself in the Yoruba sector of Nollywood. She's currently in her 30s and doing quite well for herself. So she has become a toast of many producers. A lot of Nigerian movie lovers love watching Mumi on their screens. And apart from her real name Mumi Toriola, she's also probably called Queen Latifah going to one of her rooms. And today, she shared one of the things that happened during this week. In her words, during the week, a lady contacted me and wanted me to surprise her sister for her 50th birthday. We were still talking and she was here to give me the address details and boom, the celebrant husband called very late last night. He didn't even know someone was already talking to me about surprising his wife. He told me how much the celebrant loves my job and my person. He told me beautiful things about his wife. He told me how loving she is and how she has made marriage beautiful for him. At that point, I knew I would love to see her. Her husband brought me in at all costs. And I showed up, met the beautiful celebrant, so full of life, with beautiful people around her. And this is my wish to my beautiful fans like celebrant, Auntie Bakari's Katrin. I wish you good health. The few minutes I spent there, I can say that you're a happy person. May you continue to be happy all through the days of your life. Happy 50th birthday, man. And I forgot to say, 50 looks good on you, man. And from the short clip she shared, the woman was overjoyed as she saw Wumi Toriola and one of the women there also commented that she does not even need to know the title of the movie. Once she sees the picture of Wumi and she sees that Wumi has been featured in the movie, she's going to watch the movie. So she's indeed a die-hard fan of Wumi Toriola. Happy birthday to this woman who is Wumi Toriola's fan. May God bless a new age. For those who may ask who is Wumi Toriola or for those who may want to know more about the show actress, please stay with us. When we joined the movie industry through an audition for a movie titled Ishe She Lagba, which was put together by Funga Kindelebilu and produced by Tawa Ajishifini, she was selected to partake in it and that was how acting career began. Over the years, she has acted in over 200 movies, including the movie Shubonka and Wedding Ring. A breakthrough came in the year 2015 when she produced the movie Ajoomi. She had a major breach in 2015 when she produced the movie Ajoomi. Apart from being an actress, she's also a movie producer who has produced at least seven movies, including the tall Bini, Ajoomi, My Past, Ayo Hife, Shumoko, Omo Beta, and Yawu Alashiju, just to mention a few of them. To get her background, she grew up in a disciplined home. Her father was a very tough man, and she sadly lost her mom at a very young age. She grew up with her grandparents. As a child, she wanted to become a lawyer and tried to pursue law. Then she went to Lagos State University in Ojo, where she obtained the diploma in law. For elementary education, she attended Providence Primary School, also Providence Secondary School for post-elementary education. Both schools are at Tiju, Jurud, in Fab and Lagos State, before she studied linguistics at the University of Illinois. In the beginning, her father didn't support her acting career. However, along the line, he saw the interest his daughter had and the passion for this career, so he had to support her. One of the challenges that they face in the movie industry, according to her, is piracy. As a young movie producer, piracy is really giving them a tough time. In our words, it was also difficult breaking into the movie industry. The biggest sacrifice I have made in my career is featuring the movies without being paid. I used to do a lot of that in the early days. It is also tough remaining calm in the face of cyberbullying. Sometimes I really want to respond. But I just had to let go. It took a whole lot to get to where I am today. For lessons she has learned, she has learned not to listen to side talks. You also have to be consistent in whatever you do because people are noticing. There are fans that have been following me from the days when I only played once in the movies till now. People pay attention to details, what you may not know. A bridge was in the movie, a journey which she produced in 2015, as Ella mentioned. She also mentioned that the movie industry has helped her a lot in different ways. Before she started acting, she was not a fashionable person, but that has changed. The ability to play a role's role well has also helped her a lot. She buries herself in whatever character she has to play, and that has helped her a lot. Also for her, she mentioned that production, even though she's a movie producer, is not really a thing. 
and that is why she adopts division of labor on her project. She usually delegates responsibilities to people who are competent to handle the most times she does not even handle the finances. She lets someone else do that. And she said, I do all this to concentrate on my acting. It takes a lot for you to be a producer and actor on the same set. But what fame has robbed her of? Umi confess that fame has robbed her of her freedom. Sometimes she cannot just decide to do what she wants to do. On her personality, she said, I believe that I'm fun to be with. I'm not what I portray on screen. I have a calm personality and I'm very private. Other things she does apart from acting and producing, she's also involved in skincare. She has a business called Materiala Glow, WT Glow. As regards her role models, she mentioned that everybody that has done great things in this movie industry are, are role models. But particularly, she likes Joker Silver. On the effect of marriage on her fan base, well, Umi says that she has no fears that marriage would reduce her fan base. As a matter of fact, she has never really had male friends. Most of her fans are females, so she does not have too many problems. Her fans, one of the funniest experiences she has ever had with them, is when a man left his wife on the plane and came to her seat. He asked her to stand up so that he could check if her butt was real. She said, I didn't find you funny initially, but I later laughed over it. I used to be embarrassed by my backside, but now I consider it my trademark. On her hobbies, I love to shop, read, travel, and watch movies. Whenever I want to relax, I like to be in this. Fashion, a style can be defined as simple and classy, as she does not follow trends. So, Wumi has been entertaining us since the year 2012. And what has kept her consistent is what her grandmother once taught her, that when a goldsmith keeps digging a particular place, he will keep digging because he knows he wants to get something from that. And when he keeps digging without relenting, one day he too much realized. So she has followed this thought process and she has been digging without relenting because she knows that one day it will materialize. She confessed that truly all her hard work started paying off. So this is a little bit about this actress on material. We come to the end of this episode where you're back to us on material. Shocks Nigeria man actually gives her this epic surprise on her 50th birthday. Happy birthday once again to this woman and may God bless her new age.